Understanding the body language behind smiling is crucial to your success in life. Whether it be to get friends or get that new job or to attract that special someone you've been looking at, smiling is key. And in this video, we're going to learn all about this highly important topic. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you one definitive way to tell if someone's giving you a fake smile. Let's get to it. So two years ago, and it may actually have been about three years ago, I made a video on the body language of hands. It was for my previous company, and in that video I had promised that it was the first video of a series of videos on body language. And well, it's almost three years later, and I have yet to make another video on body language. So. I apologize. That's my bad and I do promise that I will finish this series now in the next couple of weeks. And so here is the second edition to the video series on body language. So the first thing to understand is that smiling is an incredibly powerful tool to use. I already mentioned it in the beginning of this video, but I can't recommend it enough. Listen, we all affect one another emotionally, every day, all day. Due to something called mirror neurons, we tend to copy the faces that we see. So if you look unhappy, then chances are that other people will give you back the same. They're gonna look unhappy as well. But if you look happy, then others will start to follow suit. Just think of an example where a cashier didn't say hi to you, or even look at you when you got to the register. It sucks, it feels awkward, and you feel negative about it. Now think about the opposite. Think about a time where you went to the register to pay for your things, and the cashier gave you a big smile and a big hello. Well, hey there, sweetie. Hey, how are you today? Well, hi now. It feels great. All of a sudden, those positive emotions that they were feeling got transferred over to you, entered into your body, and made you feel good too. It's contagious, and that is what a smile can do. It can help you in your interactions with people. It can help you sell. It can help you convince someone of something. Smiling is an extremely important tool to have in your arsenal. Just don't smile all the time you'll look like a weirdo. Smiling too much makes the other person feel uncomfortable and it can actually have the opposite effect because it's not genuine. And that's something we'll get into here shortly. Now, let's get into the details. A twisted smile indicates sarcasm. Just letting yourself become Tyler Durden. No matter what Ms. Red's laugh says, who cannot get the drugs that they need. I'm just an ordinary guy with nothing to lose. So a twisted smile is where only one side of the face is smiling. It tends to be the left side because the left brain pulls the right side down in the opposite direction. Someone that gives you this smile is pretty much saying you're foolish and they think they know better than you. They're being sarcastic. Next we have the tight lip smile which indicates disinterest or a withheld opinion about something. Marcus and I even go to the same barber, although I have a slightly better haircut. Is this funny, sir? We gotta fight for every scrap of what used to be ours by right. Nah. This one is similar to the twisted smile. The other person is holding something back, either about the topic that you're discussing or even about you. Or they just may not be very interested in the discussion. Hence, be wary of this one and keep an eye out. Next, we have the sideways looking up smile, which telegraphs playfulness, a juvenile behavior, and secretiveness. I think that's a word. Baby, I don't need me another. No, no, all I know. Is Ned just going to watch me get coffee? This is so intimate. This one here, and oh man, there's something about it. It's done primarily by women, and studies have shown it to be a male favorite. It triggers the male desire to want to protect and to take care of that woman. It was Princess Diana's go-to smile, which is one of the many reasons why she's still so beloved. So guys, if you see that cute lady giving you one of those, it's a good sign. And ladies, if you want to attract a man so much that he can barely resist, then shoot him one of these sly little smiles. It's sure to make him chase after you. Next is the drop jaw smile, which shows playfulness. <laughs> it's, it seems to have... Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> Hillary Clinton is a huge fan of this one. It shows that you're fun and playful, or at least that you want to appear to be. And people love this smile, but be careful not to overuse it because you could appear as not being genuine, just like any of these can, really. Now, let's move on and talk about laughing for a second. Laughing attracts people just like smiling. It's contagious. But laughing also has a huge effect on your mental health, which we care a lot about on this channel. One, it makes you more relaxed. And two, it releases stress, which in turn affects your physical health. So take this seriously. And to add, many women put being funny as the top trait for men because it's seen as a dominant trait. So men, let's keep that in mind. Finally, I'd like to add one tool that you can use when you're feeling a bit down in the dumps. We already discussed that smiling is contagious and that we can affect other people with our moods. Well, we also affect our own mood based on the expression that we have on our face. So if you look angry on the outside, you're gonna feel angry on the inside. But if you look happy on the outside, then you're gonna force yourself to feel happy on the inside. So the tool that you can use is to simply force yourself to make a smile whenever you're not feeling too great. Stay like that for a few seconds and notice how it starts to change your mood. This is a very powerful tool. And that's it folks, hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Just kidding, you know I'm not leaving you hanging like that. I promised that I'd tell you the one thing to watch out for in a fake smile. So here it is. If someone smiles at you without wrinkles around their eyes, then it's a fake smile. It doesn't matter how big their smile might be, if their eyes aren't smiling, then that smile is a lie. And this is huge to watch out for because some people have great smiles and they look completely genuine even though deep down they're trying to deceive you. Not to mention that this is also important because you can use it when you smile. If you want people to like you more and for you to affect them more positively, Positively, then make sure you really smile and get your eyes involved. Not only will you feel the difference, but so will they. And that truly is it, we're done here. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you know exactly when the next video in this series comes out. Thank you so much guys. And as always, improve your body, improve your mind, improve the world.